Depending on where you are in the world, when I say football, you're probably thinking one of these sports. Whether the ball is oblong or rounded, in both games there is a move where you drop the ball and kick it as far as possible. Whether the goalie is doing it or the aptly named punter in American football is doing it, this move, the punt, is an extremely effective way to kick the ball great lengths. However, in climbing, the word punt means a very different thing. This is what it means to punt in climbing. If you haven't figured out from the clips I've shown, punting is a slang that climbers use to describe the act of falling off a climb. The term punting is especially used when a climber is right at the crux, falling off right at the finish, on the start of a flash go, or anytime there is importance in the move in question. Now I'm no stranger to punting. If anything, I'm sure I have hours of clips of me just falling at the very finish of climbs. When you punt while climbing, it really does feel like you're getting kicked off the wall. But no one is immune to punting, so here are some punts in the professional climbing scene. First up, we have Alex Magos, who while climbing in Ben Moon's famous gym, the schoolroom, he tries a V12 or 8A+, and falls on the last move and gives an appropriate reaction. No! Oh. How stupid was that? No! Next, we have Alex Puccio. When she was working on Jade V14 or 8B+, she was extremely close to sticking the final hard move, but this happened. I think it's done today. I can, like, tape that it. Awesome. Third, we have Toru Nakajima. When he was working on Lucid Dreaming V15 or 8C, he was extremely close to sticking the crux move. And on his last attempt during his last day, he tore the skin on his finger, ruining his chances of trying again. Finally, we have Matilda Soderlund on Golden for a Moment, who had two weeks to finish this 514B or 8C. On her 13th day, she fell right at the finish. Liz! No! And then I fell. My head was just empty. I thought that this was my chance of sending Golden. And I blew it. Sometimes it's pretty funny when you punt off the climb, but sometimes it's a very emotional struggle. Bruce Zhao, who was working on the V13 known as Free Range, spent several months working on it and described his feeling of punting perfectly in Cesar Valencia's video about the climb. I punt over 20 times maybe? Or even more. I forgot how many times. I already got used to, to the punt. So the punt is really, like, frustrating. Hunting can get extremely emotional when you pour all of your efforts into a climb and things go wrong. It hurts more than just physically. It's an emotional feeling that's hard to process. Being so close to success yet so far really takes a toll on the mental psyche. But that's one of the big reasons why climbing is such a beautiful sport. If you're pushing yourself, most of climbing is punting or falling. But as I'm sure almost all of you have done, whether it was in climbing or anything else in life, 
you got back up and tried it again. So regardless if you're a professional climber who got back up and topped the climb after hours of hard work, or if you're just a regular guy like me, all the times that you've punted off sure makes the send worth it. Come on! Come on! Come on! Let's go, baby! Let's go!